Okay, can see the question. No, this one you give the answer. Now is the answer. Huh? Oh, it's no. Junior Part 2 Abhidhamma 2010 answer. All right. Yes, yes. 2010? Yeah. Not 2023. Yeah. This is Abhidhamma. Abhidhamma, Abhidhamma. Okay, Sister Sumita. First one. Buddha teaching known as Paramata Desana is found in Sister Sumita. Okay. Buddha's teaching known as Paramata Desana is mostly found in Abhidhamma Pitaka. Okay, next one was for you. Uh. The most intelligent of all Arahan, who also known as Dhamma Sena Di Pati, was venerable. Sorry, B. Sorry, Buddha. Are you agree? Agree, uh, yeah. B. Sorry, Buddha. Anybody, any dispute? Ragana Mogalana is famous for what idea? Uh, okay. So Nada no special term. Mahakasa is, term is, term is for the... uh is the forest one. Okay. Uh three, uh, uh sister Tio. Uh. Uh, and this first one is uh... who, who taught Abhidhamma to his pupil was <coughs> Uh, and for the book Abhidhamma Sang Sangala written by Arichya Anuruta has summarized in how many books? Seven. Okay, uh, nobody dispute. Uh. And number five. Sister Big Ling, uh, there are how many types of ultimate or absolute truth or paramata dharma? Four. Yeah, correct. Okay, then next one. Uh, the Parimat Abhidhamma book known as Katavatu, compiled by Venerable Ar Arahan Mongali Uttatis, was introduced at Third. Council. Third. Yes. Okay, rather go cool, ah. The ethically variable mental factor, how many ah? Thirteen. Ethical variable 13. mental factor. Thirteen. One three C. Say again. One three C. One three. Everybody agree or not? Agree. There are seven what? universals and six occasional. Many total of thirteen. And next one, ah, the order mental factor are uh, how many in number, ah, uh, go. Uh, four, fourteen. Agree, ah. Uh, four, four, three, four, three, four, three. So it's uh fourteen, uh, yeah, fourteen. Okay, Sister Sumita. Out of the immoral mental factor, how many of them arise in every unwholesome thing? B, four. Everybody agree? Okay, uh. And then Sister Tio. There are how many be beautiful Universal beautiful mental factors. So, Bana. 25. Pardon? 25, right? Any hey, uni, they are 25, right? There's two oh, answers. Very, very, very tricky, this question. No? 
Is it 25? Or is it 19? 19 is a common one, right? Yeah, that's the trouble. So, are you going to take... So, Rana, so, the Rana. Uh, it says that the universal beautiful mental factors. If it is universal, it's 19, right? 19. 19. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, the total of 25, but 19 will be universal to all the beautiful cheetahs. But you never say cheetah. <laughs> No, this one is Cheta Sita ma. Mental factor ma. So mental if it's sadarana, that is universal. So when it's universal, that means it's 19 only. So agree, yeah, 19, not 25. Ma. No, no, no. 19. Okay, sister Sumita. Give a short account of the four classes of consciousness classified according to the planes of existence. Remember the year yeah. one one? Uh, uh, the consciousness, and then what are the planes there? Okay, for Kama Vachara, for the sense here, there are 54 types of. Uh, Consciousness, where there are 12 unwholesome of the Sarasla Jita, 18 rootless Ahituka Jita, 24 beautiful Otobana Jita. And then for Rupa Vajara or the five material sphere, there are 15 Jitas, where there are five Kusala Jita, five Vipaka Jita. Another five kriya vipaka. Then it goes to formless sphere or the arupa arupa jara twelve jitas four kusala jita four vipaka jita four kriya jita and for supra mundane consciousness on this it can either be eight or p. If it is A, there will be four Kusala Jitani Ajita and then four Vipaka Jita. If it is A, 40, then for first Jana, there will be four Maga, four Pala. Similarly, for second, third, fourth, fifth, each will have four Maga and four Pala Jita. Okay, good try. See my version, huh? Okay, it is year one question, huh? So in Abhinama, they are divided to 89 or 121, depend on type of chitta classified according to plane existence. So basically, you need to stabilize all the chitta and how many planes down there? 54 for sensory, huh? and 11 plane. Then form consciousness, 15 and 16. And formless 12, 4. Then super mundane, uh, super mundane is those higher, uh, 8 or 40, but no plane uh, for this. These are towards the mm -hmm. uh. So total depend on either is 89 or whole, uh, 40 if you want to one. So 31 plane at distance. So need to explain Kama Vachara day. They are mostly beings in the Kama Vachara planes, meaning enjoyed through five senses. And then the form sphere plane are realms of existence characterized by refined form of existence and absorption. They are inhabited by beings who attain a high level of mighty attainment and been born there as a result of their virtuous action and concentration practice. Then these are the four realms which are broken down, which they are deciding. Then the formulas uh, have no place in purely physical concept as none of being inhabit either shape or location. I mean, they are only have the mind only. Okay? All, all these being in formless and mind. So basically, you need to break down the discharge. All right? So, Sister Teo. 
how many ruler cheetah are there? Classify them with an explanation. There are 18. So, okay. the, the, the seven, seven, uh, the, the, two, the, cannot remember, but I know there are 18, uh, seven, eight, then three, seven, eight, three, right? But cannot recall. The, the, okay. Chaku, the, the, Sosa, the, Ghana. the explanation here. So, if I name how many rulers to are there? Them with, uh, explanation, uh. So they are total 18 uh, and divided mm. in as follow. Unwholesome, uh, with unwholesome resultant consciousness, seven. Rulers wholesome return, eight. Then rulers functional consciousness, three, right? Total 18. All right? Uh, the point, second part. Uh, explanation of these three okay so all these 18 type of consciousness take place without a karma driving force they happen without an, any effort on the doer but can be result of a previously performed karma so previous karma efforts. so the first seven rootless type of consciousness takes place as a result of previous performed karma that has influenced by the three forces that increase the suffering or that hinder deeper happiness, namely desire, hatred, and ignorance. So, the unwholesome one uh, is because of the past one uh, can happen to them. Okay? So, the next one, eight type of concern happen as a, eight type means the wholesome one. Uh, or previous perform karma, then slightly wholesome character. Okay? So, this explains what are they. And the last three steps of consciousness are neither cause nor effect, are purely functional, especially uh, those Arahan and Buddha. What they are doing at the end uh, is all rootless functional, okay? And no karma created, okay? So basically, you need to explain that the 18 of them break down into three categories and explain each of them, all right? So next one, uh, Ah, brother to know ah, what are the four common characteristics of mental faculty ah, this one is a sure question ah, for all year two my member Tai Tai also my member ah. uh, this one it, it arises at together with the chitta is together with the chitta has the same object as the chitta uh, has the same base as chitta so these are the four common characteristics of mental okay. factors. That's right. So, uh, you're taking two one. Uh, arise together with consciousness simultaneously. Okay? Remember that. Uh? So when consciousness perishes, uh, Jetasika also perishes at the same time. Remember that. Uh, it's a blocker to each other. And the particular object of consciousness will be the object of Jetasika of that consciousness. Okay, so when consciousness takes object, the Jetasika also takes that object. Okay, then the same base, we don't talk same base. Base means uh, the eye also there. Uh, the base, same base of consciousness will serve as a base for all Jetasika associated with the particular consciousness. Okay, this is a giveaway question. Uh, your Ha, taking a tie dye, I must remember this one. Ha, correctly get the full mark, ha, please. Okay. Okay, Sister Pickling. Mm -hmm. Name the universal mental factor and describe one of them. Uh, they are the mental uh, uh, total seven. Yes. One is contact. Uh, second one is the feeling, uh, perception, volition, uh, one pointedness, mental faculty, and tension. Okay. Describe one of them. Eh? Uh, contact. Contact means uh, the contact. Contact. Eh? 
Mm. Okay, the contact does not mean uh, to contact the object uh, physically, but it's mentally. Okay. Correct. So, what's the difference between the object and the senses? Uh, uh, that means uh, one is mentally, one is physically. So, here it means uh, mentally, not physically contact. Okay, try. Good try. So, we need to name all the universal. Asveda, Asana, Setana, Eka, Gata, Jivin, Jinja, and Makas. Mana Sikara. Uh -huh. So you see, Jimmerina very important. Uh, you feel Rupa uh, without this, uh, the human will die. Same thing as uh, Cheta Sika. Without this, uh, the human uh, physically will break down also. So Jivindrinya very important. So I take Jivindrinya. Uh, so it's a uh, faculty of vitality. It's a uh, one of five faculty or mental factor uh, essential for life and survival. So Divinria is responsible for sustaining life, controlling bodily function, and supporting the consciousness. So it's considered one of the primary factors that differentiate a living being from a non-living being. So non-living being is Jinvidriya. So understanding and cultivating a of Jinvidriya can aid practitioner in developing mindfulness and insight into the impermanent and interconnected nature of existence. So sufficient area, right? Okay, Sister Sumeta. Name the three essences of Virati uh, and write short notes on top. Okay. The mental factor uh, of abstinences. The Virati or abstinences, there are three. One is Sama Bacha, the right speech. Second one, Sama Kamanta, the right action. The third one is Sama Ajiva, right, right livelihood. So, uh, three absences have to do with deliberately refraining from engaging in unwholesome behaviors, such as regarding the speech, action, or, or livelihood. So, right speech is depicted as the uh, action where uh, uh, vocal, verbal action where we do not intentionally tell lies, gossip, use inappropriate language, and talk nonsense. The right action referring to refraining from killing, stealing, uh, sexual misconduct, things which are harmful to us and to the others. And as well as uh, action of uh, abusing alcohol and drugs. Right, livelihood is the third abstinence, not on having a profession or hobby that will engage in activities that cause harm to ourselves or others, such as selling drugs. Uh, uh, killing life, tra trading with meat, and human trafficking, dealing with weapons. Okay, you good okay? try. Okay, look at this. Uh, what are abstinences? Right speech, right action, right livelihood. Okay? Very simple, right? You just remember this truth. You oh. get Ah, half the mark there. Eh. Then you need to talk what is Sama Vacha? Right speech. Ah, is one of the components of eight noble path, okay? Which is a fundamental teaching in Buddhism, aimed at achieving liberation suffering. Right speech, ah, eh, involves speaking truthfully, kindly, beneficially, and first abstaining from lying, harsh speech, divisive speech and either chapter. Eating right speech is essential for creating harmony within oneself and with others. So contributes the cultivation of wholesome mental state and the reduction of suffering. Okay. One of them. Uh. In the context of the Noble Eightfold Path, uh, right speech is seen as the 
crucial aspect of ethical conduct which forms the foundation of mental development and wisdom. So by practicing right speech, individuals can cultivate great fullness and compassion, leading to spiritual development and elevation suffering in the world. So one, Sama Kamanta. It's indeed a crucial aspect of the Eightfold Path, even as the right action or right conduct, emphasizing the important and ethical behavior of this practice. Right action involves refraining, abstaining yourself from harmful actions such as stealing, stealing, engaging in sexual misconduct, while also activity, activity cultivating behavior such like as generosity, kindness, and compassion. So by following the path of right action, individuals contribute to their own well-being and the well-being of others, fostering harmony and peace in their lives and communities. The aspect for the path is deeply intertwined with the development of the moral integrity and serve as a foundation for further spiritual growth and realization of four noble truths. So all these found in four noble truths and a four paths, huh? so cannot abstain from it. Huh? So understanding and practice the right action is essential for anyone seeking to live in accordance with the Buddhist principle and elevate suffering themselves and the world around them. And next one, Achiva. Sama Achiva is right lively. So it's all part of the noble Eightfold Path. Huh? Right livelihood emphasis emphasizes the importance of earning living in a way that is ethical, righteous, and does not cause harm to oneself and others. The concept of right livelihood encompasses refraining from occupation that involve harming living beings as trading in weapons, trafficking in human or animals, selling intoxicants, or engaging in deceitful practices. Instead, encourage engaging in professions that promotes well-being, honesty, and social harmony. So, by following the path of right livelihood, individuals not only support their own spiritual development but also contribute positive to welfare and harmony of society. So right livelihood is an integral part of the Buddhist path and aligns with the principle of compassion, non-harming, and right action. So practicing right livelihood helps individuals cultivate a sense of moral integrity and contribute to reduction of suffering in themselves and others. It serves as a foundation for further spiritual growth and realization of the four noble truths. So writing all this will be sufficient. Okay, next one. Sister Name the universal beautiful mental factor. What are moral roots found in this group? This one, there are 19. Universal beautiful mental factor. There are 19, uh, but I cannot remember so many. I only remember Sada. Sada, then uh, A. Ahiri. Uh, no, no, then uh, cannot remember right now. But I don't know how to uh, take exam or tell me. Oh, Pian, I must remember all of them. Uh. You died. I don't know how to take exam. Uh. Oh, Put more effort uh, every day. Uh, face I don't have effort, but I'm tired. Or you can form a rhythm uh, or uh, a speech. Uh. That form all these unlighting uh, faith, mm. mindfulness, uh, faith and uh, mindfulness, they have moral sh moral dread, non-attachment, non-hatred. Uh, they think of a sequence, uh, then equanimity, tranquility of mental factor, tranquility of mind. This one uh, is a uh, complement of each other. Uh. Then lightness of mental factor. Blindness of mind, blindness of mental factor, blindness of mind, adaptivity of mental factor, depth activity of mind, proficiency of mental factor, and proficiency of mind. And then rectitude of mental factor and rectitude of mind. Okay, so this one uh, also repeat in the senior part. Uh, so you see, they are repeating all these questions on and off at every level. So moral roots found in this group are non-hatred, non-detachment, and non-delusion. That's all. Lor. Okay, no. You only must remember all, all the things. Uh. Well, I have to go back. Uh. From now onwards, uh, write down all the points. 
paint the sequence for you to remember one after another. Then you're in good shape. Uh. You are now uh, one, one great up, uh, so more and more things to learn. Uh. Okay, now, Mr. Theo. Try it. Uh. Uh, yeah, try, I don't uh, know. Try, uh. <laughs> Uh, 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 member, uh, please try hard. Uh, uh. Okay, next one. Uh. Uh, maybe, maybe just a suggestion uh, to Taiwan. Uh, for, for the first seven one, uh, you can do it as a pair. Uh, because uh, the, good idea. the Sada and Sati SS, uh, he and Otapa as a pair. Aloba and Adosa and another pair. Then the seventh one is the Tatra Matata, that means equanimity. So seven, uh, once you cover the seven, then the subsequent is six pair already. So first, uh, uh, so if you, to me, I follow the Pali, then because maybe I get familiar with the Pali. So Sada and Sada is a pair. Kiri, Otapa, another pair. Aloba, Adosa, another pair. Then the seven is the equaling. Okay. Uh, so, Jay, this is one way. Uh, because just now you say Ahiri. Uh, Ahiri is the Akusala Chitasika. You no, know? it's not the beautiful. You no, know? that one is the not beautiful one. So, if A is, is not really, you know, it should be really Otapa. Oh, that okay, noted. Oh, I also get me last time. I used to make some of them. Whereas Loba and Dosa, that is the negative. So Aloba and Dosa is the positive. Okay, you know, sister. Try, try, try. I, 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 Go back home, <laughs> uh, right, based on your, uh, <laughs> your bed. Uh. So that's before you stay, go through one time. Uh, morning, wake up, one through one uh, then sure go in on and then don't see too much social social a lot of this thing into your handphone uh, so you're traveling uh, uh, and see sure go in on I guarantee sure go in I now go in okay uh, I don't know how to help you <laughs> okay now okay, I'll try la, try la. I mean I know you so susa susa teachers uh, yeah la. Okay, I know, I'll no, just hope to pass, hope to pass to me. Going one. Ayoyo, that one uh, even more complicated for me. <laughs> huh? Which one? The year four one. <laughs> Senior part two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> tough one, okay, uh, that one. Okay. Lot of uh, things okay. to test. Uh. <laughs> I not touched that subject for more than 10 years. Uh. Oh. Susa, really, really tough on you. <laughs> That's why we also susa. I also susa susa must take the exam because knowing that you no, put I in so much. And day and night, oh, because I will carry a lot of time to do all this nonsense. Uh. If I'm working, uh, I tell you I surrender. <laughs> so please, please go and do it. Okay, it's not difficult. Uh, okay. You learn through your brother to come out and answer for you. <laughs> okay, so appreciate ah. Uh. Uh, Sister Chayu, you follow uh, Sister Ch uh, Sayale Chala's uh, lesson, right? Yeah, but this one only memorizes me. Initially, you have to memorize uh, no choice. Uh. Because once you oh, memorize it, you get into it. Uh. It helps you a lot. Uh. I also don't know how to take silent Sayiji test or exam. Hi, Amma, you just try. We have been failing so many times already. Don't worry. Learn, have... fast, uh, learn, learn through. Uh -huh. Then, uh, each day, uh, put a blank paper there and write out all the 19 of them. I guarantee yeah. you can call all of them. Okay, blank paper. Don't go and look. Uh, and then, fill as many as you can. Uh, then, see how many you have missed out. Uh. Sure can one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try, try. <laughs> eh, never try, never, no try, no gain. Uh. You must try. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh. Brother Lau. Yeah. On the Kaya Ujuka, Uju uh, is, you have to have a 
you know once you separate the kaya and the what get you number number eighteen uh, number eighteen uh, the kaya uh, yeah the kaya so down down some more down just now that one some more down down uh, another page some more ah uh, okay now the kaya uju kata uh, uju kata when they spread separate it is u j u it's not ju you know because uh, when, one, when a and u kaya uh, the u is uh, uh, probably the spelling all all different no I remember it's L right L U kata U L right no no U U J U U United I go and find, United. find the book and make the alteration yourself lah uh, ah no you see yeah, that this one is I... different places ah uh, different tapping ah uh, so yours correct if I'm wrong ah uh. if you combine two then you take away the U okay. Yeah, so you all make the rectification yourself. Ah, uh. uh, the moral roots are non hatred, non intention, non delusion. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, there is, there is the last part of the answer. The A2 moral the, the roots. Ah, uh. uh, just this, this three are not difficult. Uh. You all should know uh. by now. Okay, next one. Uh. My brother, uh, go. Vedanta, what is it? Feeling. Short notes, ah, uh. short notes. So, so a pair of feelings is a uh, universal chetasika, it can be a uh, neutral feeling, pleasant feeling, or unpleasant feeling. Uh, it's a bare, bare sensations of uh, bare sensation. It, it feels a bare sensation uh, of chita. Uh, and uh, because of contact, then only feeling will be able to arise. And uh, because of feeling, then the uh, the craving will arise. It it or rather in dependent origination. Because of contact, then the feelings will arise, and when after feelings, then the it will it causes craving to arise. Uh, uh, I think three three enough radio three sentence short uh, okay, sentence okay, enough. Okay, okay, good. Try, try. Uh, so basically, uh, you have to take represents quality or experience, and then stands of pleasantness, unpleasantness, or neutrality. Ah, uh, then you mentioned ah uh, also we are now one of five allegations ah uh, that contain individual existence. resistance. So allegations like rupa, feeling, vedanta, sana, mental formation and consciousness ah. Uh. So vedanta fall under allegation of feeling. So you can write about ah uh, is so one of them. So vedanta arises in response to sensory stimuli, mental object. You look, you sense. I mean, you smell all that, uh, all are uh, 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 object for you to contact with your senses. So after you senses, uh, you have pleasant, unpleasant, neutral feeling. So uh, that is sufficient for you to finish off whole talking about Vedana. So next one, ah, uh, is the. Uh, so meta, what is evolution? Is the so meta? Okay. Uh, Chetana evolution is actually the intention behind an action. It is the mind or consciousness. The Chetana is used in the sense of coordination and accumulation. And like the uh, chief disciples, it will fulfill uh, its functions, regulate the function of other concomitants associated with itself. Uh, it plays an, a pre-dominant part in all action, either or immoral, that will 
produce karma. Okay, okay, good try, good try. So basically, it's a mental factor or the intention behind action. Volition is either one of the mental factor that arise to gather consciousness yeah. and shape our experience and our action. So volition, I can say about play a central role in the process of karma, which is a law of cause and effect governing moral action consequences. So the moral quality of action depends on the intention of volition behind it. So action rooted in wholesome intentions such as kindness, compassion, generosity lead to positive outcome and contribute to spiritual growth or well-being. Conversely, action driven by unwholesome actions such as greed and delusion lead to negative consequences and perpetual suffering. So volition is closely related to the concept of ethical conduct in Buddhism. So something along this, you should be able to survive through. Uh. So next one, uh. Sister Teo, what is Loba? Loba is one of the three evils and it actually uh, <laughs> give give up to the give to the Akusala Chita give to this is give to the eight Akulas Akula Chita. Then I say the eight eight Akusala. Then then what else to say? <laughs> I don't know. Say. Okay. Okay. Look at my. My question. It's one of three root department, one thousand root, ah. The other mean dosa and moha. Eh? So loba arises from what dissipation or craving for sensual pleasure, material possession, or state of being. It manifests as a strong desire or attachment thing perceived as desirable or pleasurable. So in our Buddhist understanding, our loba is seen as a cause of suffering and driving force behind the cycle of birth, death, and birth. So overcoming the loba is essential for liberation from suffering and attainment, enlightenment, and practitioner are encouraged to cultivate mindfulness and awareness of desire, attachment, observing them without identification or attachment. So by understanding the impermanent and unsacred nature of all conditioned phenomena, individuals can gradually weaken the whole of loba and develop great freedom and inner peace. Okay, next one. Mr. Pickling, what is dosa? Dosa. Uh, dosa is uh, the second unwholesome roots. Um, oh, this is the second unwholesome roots. Okay. The consciousness, uh, I read from here, eh? <laughs> the consciousness becomes aggressive when associated with hatred, dislike, and displeasure, naturally, eyes with everyone. A host of situations like enmity, price, disgust, unwillingness, worry, irritation, anger, sadness are the result of having the experience of hatred. Can I? Okay, la. good try. La. So, when you're writing this essay, uh, I mean, this short question, please try to write as much as you possible. Uh. <coughs> it's one of the three. Unwholesome root. Uh. Then it arises when one encounters situation and experience that are perceived as unpleasant, undesirable, or threatening. So it manifests as a reactive response of aversion and hostility towards oneself or others or external circumstances. So dosa can range from mild irritation to intense hatred and often leads to unskillful action and harmful consequences for oneself and others. 
So docile is considered as a primary cause of suffering and major obstacle of spiritual development and liberation. So it clouds the mind, distorts perception, and perpetuates the cycle of negative emotion. Overcoming dosa is essential for cultivating inner peace, harmony, and well-being. That will be sufficient here. Okay, brother go. Vibhichikicha. Uh, doubt is is one of the Cetasika uh, among the uh, or unwholesome unwholesome mentors. Uh, it arises with one of the uh, Mohamula Chita, which is the uh, uh, Mohamula, uh, this uh, Upika Sagata, Nichikika uh, Sampayuta, Mohamula Chita. Uh, the doubt that is referred to is the doubt about Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, uh, or the idea of a permanent self or soul. And uh, not because of that, there is the uh, uncertainty in the mind to be able to see the reality of of phenomenal, for example, the three heretics of existence. And uh, due to doubt, the mind losses its clarity and is not able to see these three characteristics. So I think that's enough, right? Well, yeah, sufficient. Good try. Okay. It's a state of uncertainty, hesitation, or institution regarding the true validity or essence of spiritual teaching, practices, or experiences. It's one of the five hindrances. Okay. They obstruct progress yeah, in the path to awakening, and the other hindrances are sensual desire, ill will, slot and topple, and restlessness and worry. So, bichicca arises when the mind is clouded with uncertainties about the teachings, the teachers, or one's own ability to practice and realize the teaching. It can manifest as questioning the validity of Buddha's teaching, think the efficiency of meditation practices, or being uncertain about the nature of reality and the path to liberation. So overcoming vichichicca is essential for making progress on the spiritual path. Petitioners are encouraged to cultivate mindfulness and investigation to examine the uncertainty with clarity and discernment. So by developing confidence in the teachings through study, reflection, and personal experience, individuals can gradually overcome vichichicca and deepen Death and commitment to the path. Okay, this will be sufficient. Eh? Okay, next one, Sister uh, Sumita. What is Sada? Sada is a faith of confidence. So it is placing trust in something or someone or the presence of faith and confidence. The function of confidence is to purify, like it helps us think and empathetic person. It helps us to face difficulties. It manifests as clarity and as decisiveness or as resolute attitude. It helps us do something beneficial for our well being, for the well being of us by believing what we think is correct. Such as the faith in the triple gem, the Dhamma, and the characteristic of the natural phenomena. 
so it will lead to our strong faith in walking the path. Okay, yeah, good try, good try. Oh, we see my one, huh? It's refer to a deep sense of conviction, belief, or confidence in the Buddha, his teaching, the spiritual community. Sada is considered as a vital quality and more and nourishes one spiritual with development. It's not blind faith, but rather a reasonable confident based on understanding, experience, insight. So Sada arises from recognizing the inherent value and validity of Buddha and the transformative power of the path to awakening. So Sada manifests in various ways in the practice of Buddhism. Confident in the triple gem, Sada involves trusting the Buddha as a fully awakened teacher of the Dharma as the teaching leading to the liberation and Sangha to the community practitioner who support and inspire one another on the then openness and receptivity. Sada fosters of openness and receptivity to the teachings and guidance of the Buddha and practitioner to approach the Dharma and curiosity and humility and Willingness to learn and grow. Then courage and commitment. Sada gives rise to courage and commitment for all the path of practice, even in the face of challenge and difficulties. So empower practitioner and preserve in their effort to cultivate wholesome quality and overcome unwholesome tendency. So inspiration and aspiration. Sada serve as a cause of inspiration and aspiration of the spiritual journey, it motivates the practitioner to cultivate virtue, developing foundation and cultivate wisdom in order to realize the goal of liberation from suffering. So direct with sufficient for your so-called short question. So please write as much as you can, okay? So this one and the Abhidhamma, we still have one Dhamma to go. So can we stop for 10 minutes and resume soon. Thank you.